All right, what's up everybody? Um, today, uh, we got something going on. I don't know what the title of the video or whatnot's gonna be at this moment, so um, I don't know what else is gonna be in the video because this shouldn't take me that long, hopefully. Um, I already started on it a little bit and I'm really excited for this, way more excited than what I should be. But um, today, we're putting an oil catch can on the 350. And the, I know Mishimoto makes a catch can for this, but they're really expensive. And they end up right here, right in this hole, because your, your inlet for that, it comes out of the PCB valve in it, out of it, and into the, into the intake. But this side is all clustered, and this side literally has nothing in it. So... I know Brandon, which you've seen in the last video, he has the same exact catch can. It's just a cheap little catch can. But he, what he did is he ran his out of his ST out and all the way around to the other side. And I think that would look pretty freaking sick once I get it all in here. So um, I think what I'm going to do is try to mount it up here somehow. This was over here, and I took it out, bloodied my freaking knuckle over it, and that's the first thing I've done, the only thing I've done, I'm already bleeding, so. But I'm gonna try to get like a little bracket that comes out and bends, that way I can bolt this catch can right like that. Right in there like that. I think that would look sick. If I could get it, like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. But I think right in there would look cool. So, um, I do have a piece of metal over here. Uh, I don't even know what this thing is, too. But there's a piece of metal on it that's already bent. Um, I think what I'm going to do is take this little piece of metal off, bend it, drill some holes in it, bolt it up over here. And uh, get that catch can on. And then I'll have to run to town and get some more hose to reach over there. And it should be done. So I already got this piece off. Um, basically what I'm wanting to do is put it right like that. But make a, a 90. So what I think I'm wanting to do is I'm going to beat that straight. And then I'm just going to make a 90 in it. And then hopefully it would work. Hopefully it'll work. So let's get the freaking beat on this thing with a hammer. Uh, you know, toolbox is a mess. Hammer's crappy, but perfect. But it's somewhat straight. So uh, let's make a little 90 bend in it and call it good. Not the most ideal thing. That's all I got. Yeah, this is a good mark. I'm starting to find something better. All right, so I got it bent. And I was thinking about doing that, but I may do that. Put the catch can like so. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like that. Ooh, that would look good. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So, uh, ooh. I'm gonna get a marker. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put a mark underneath it to mark the metal. That way I know where to drill the hole and uh, get that hole drilled. So I got my drills made. They're not perfect. This thing doesn't look amazing. Oh yeah, by the way, freaking gouged myself. Um, that's why you be very careful when you do this stuff because I wasn't paying attention, wasn't thinking about it, and it it cut me. Along with 
my other one from a freaking zip tie. This one, this one hurts. So sorry if you get sorry if you guys don't like that kind of stuff, but um, you gotta know you gotta be careful when working on stuff like this. But uh, yeah, so this is gonna go on this side, and then that side is gonna bolt to the thing. So uh, I'm gonna get this bolted to this. And uh, we'll see how it how it all plant pans out. So finally, after forever of messing with this thing, uh, I had it on here like so, shut the hood, and it touched the hood. So I had to lower it down, and that's where it's at. Um, it's not bad. I would still like it to be back here though, because I think that would look a lot better. So. Um, Eventually, I'm going to move it back here to where it looks better. Um, Brandon says that he has uh, some little pieces of aluminum we could probably rig up to fit back in there and bolt back in that corner. That way, it's a little bit better looking than that. But at right, as of right now, it looks really good. So... The line will come out of the PCV valve, come out around, probably through here, and then the inside. I think that's the inside. Yeah, in. And then it'll come out, come back through, and it'll go in there to where this line goes straight into the intake. So, um, I'm gonna have to run into town, get some hose. But as of right now, I think this is gonna turn out pretty good. On uh, on Brandon's ST, I had some uh, some. It was like a wire loom, like a mesh wire loom that went over it, and it looked sick. So I might end up ordering some like black and white. That way, I it could get it to look sick. I don't know. But not bad. We got um, all these fittings here depends on what what all we want it come with a filter but to go on the top of it where this bolt is the filter just sticks out like that but it won't even shut barely so can't use that but i think it'll turn out pretty good this stuff uh, is two dollars a foot and I was scared to get not enough, so I got more than I needed, and it cost more than the freaking catch can did. So we'll rig this up, get this fit right, and call it done. All right, so I got the cover off. This is a PCV valve, and it goes right into the bottom of the intake. So what I'm going to do is take this hose off, run one hose out around to the catch can, and then the same to the PCV valve. Um, this one's gonna go out into this side and then it's gonna come out of this side and into the intake. So, we got it off. Now what this is gonna do, is we're probably gonna snake this under, 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 and then push that onto there, maybe. And then this, is going to run down into the catch can, like so. And then the other side is going to come out into the PCB valve. So it'll look something just like that. almost right all right so i went ahead and knocked it out and excuse the yellow zip ties they're definitely not staying i'm gonna get the black ones and blah 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 or do something decent but 
to make them look parallel, I went up and over here, out of the PCB valve, around, through, and into the inside. And then the out comes out all the way around and it crosses under and into the intake. So that's how it looks. I think it looks freaking killer. But the yellow zip ties have to go. I just put them in there because I didn't have anything else and it was driving me insane that they weren't they weren't clean, so yeah, it looks sick. Hopefully this will help with the smoking issue a little bit. I'm not really sure if it's going to help a whole lot, but we'll have to see. It definitely looks cool. All right, so I just realized that I didn't finish the outro to this video. So um, I don't really have a lot more like photos and whatnot of it. So, um, this is going to be the outro, so I'll see you guys next time. I'll put some more pictures without the yellow zip ties in right now, and then I'll see you guys next time. Peace.